I'll tell you how to turn zero into a thousand. Go to Craigslist. Where's my Craigslist video? Turn off the music, Avi. Honestly, I think I just eliminated for the first time. I think I just eliminated for the first time in my career the excuse of no money. We think a lot about money and opportunity. Let me tell you about an opportunity that I can't get out of my head. This is like a big day for me. Literally for 30 years I've had to like pander to that excuse. It's over. There's a website called Craigslist.com. Under the sales section, there's a free section underneath that. Where people list shit that they want to get rid of. Go take it for free because most people just want you to pick it up because it's bigger or what have you. If you happen to actually have like a truck or like a bigger vehicle, then you are really set. Carry this shit on the bus. If you're broke, grab this, go on the bus, sit on the bus like this, everybody's gonna look at you, be like, yeah, 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 keep laughing, come home, do it, take a picture. And then you list it on Facebook Marketplace, the arbitrage of the internet. We see this in retail where people buy things in China, post on Amazon. 15 bucks, somebody's like, yo, I'll take your table. Ding dong, yo, hello, here you go. And you sell it. And when I think about this, I can't, I, I, I've been dreaming about this for the last 72 hours, by the way. The much more humble version, when you've got nothing, if you're just sitting like, ah, I need money, like all those people that were like, yo, can somebody buy me Gary Vee's book? I can't afford it. That means, you know, $17. I think it's like $300 a week. I think if you take your 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Monday and Tuesday, picking up shit and then repost it on Facebook Marketplace and then meeting people on Saturday to come to your home and grab it. And then somebody's gonna say, but damn, it's gonna take 40 minutes to go there, 40 minutes to take on the bus, ten, five minutes to post, seven minutes. I'm gonna be like, but what are you doing with your time anyway? You're laying on the phone, going on people's accounts who are fucking winning saying this guy's bullshit? Cause that's what you're doing with your time when you're losing. It's crazy to me that the only thing that stops somebody from winning is education and the work ethic, right? I understand that. But education comes in so many different forms. Go to Craigslist, get free shit from the free section, take it, and then put it on Facebook Marketplace and sell it. Zero to a thousand, Steve, zero to a thousand.